what is the guys I'm gonna do? And today I'm going to be talking about why the Los Angeles Lakers are the next super team. And if you don't know, this is a series I do for every single team. So before you call me a Los Angeles Lakers bandwagon or just pure stupid for making this video, I do a video on every single team like this. And I mean, I, it's been a while since I made it one, but I get, it's a pretty popular series on my channel, especially for my channel size. So I just do one for every video. So don't just think I'm stupid and idiot for making this video. And without further ado, without my room and on too much, let's get right into this video. All right, so my first reason for why they could be the next super team is all their young talents. They have three really young people that could also form into future all-stars or just future superstars in this league. And one of those players is a very solid young point guard out of this draft, and that is Lonzo. So Ball, he is right now one of the best young point guards, averaging 10.0 points per game, 6.9 rebounds per game, and 7.1 assists per game. And that is the second best stat line among all the rookies this year. He's just right behind Ben Simmons. And also this year, the dude has already shown that he's among some of the league's best passers and has some of the best court vision in the entire league. This dude has can throw dimes. He's he's like the Tom Brady of basketball. He can see the court from everywhere. Like he's he's actually really smart. He's like Ben Simmons when passes. He can see wherever you are and he will hit the open man and he can really make shots for his teammates with his passes. And they also have another breakout young rookie who could be the steal of the draft who is Kyle Kuzma. Right now Kyle Kuzma is a torch. He is a living human torch. Averaging 17.7 points, points per game, 6.8 rebounds per game, and 1.7 assists per game. And right now the dude has already brought the Lakers to a couple W's with all of his scoring. This dude is such a hot score. If he gets hot, it is over. But if he's not hot, it is also over. Because I think a game that he just had, he went like 6 for 24. He had a terrible shooting night. Shot 6% from the field. It was awful. And then but other nights he'll go for like 30 points. So he's like kind of like just like a really streaky shooter. Kind of like a Ryan Anderson type of guy. And I do think this dude will end up being better than someone like Ryan Anderson. But that's just a type of the type of shooter he is but I mean he's definitely looking like one of the steals of the draft being the 12th pick of the NBA draft but then also someone they picked up last year who was really forming into a great player Brandon Ingram the dude's been playing outstanding on defense he's been playing way better on offense he has doubled his points per game from last year to this year he has doubled him those points and he's just showing that he can be an extremely and legitimate all-star this year he has a legitimate case to be an all-star and I wouldn't be surprised if we are talking about him being one of the best players in the NBA one day I would not be surprised about that. But now my second reason is going to be their free agency potential. What I mean by that is like the potential to get NBA stars. Right now they are one of the highest teams in the league of getting potential NBA stars. Because Paul George, they already know for sure that, that dude has interest in going to their franchise. And they it's not like they don't have money to offer. And I mean, Paul George has not been secretly about it. He has been wide open that he wants to go to Los Angeles Lakers if the Oklahoma City Thunder do not work out. And looking like it right now, they do not look like they're going to work out as they're off to a pretty rocky start. They're starting to get things going. But I think it's all up to see if Melo can keep up with not wanting to score. I just don't think it's going to stay like that. And I do think it's going to force Paul George to want to leave. And what if he does leave, he will definitely be going to the Los Angeles Lakers. And then I also have another rumor going around that LeBron James wants to go to the Los Angeles Lakers. As he was practicing there and he does have a mansion in the Los Angeles area. Kind of like where the Lakers are. He kind of has a mansion right there. And he was also found working out in Los Angeles during the offseason that Last year so I mean that is extremely extremely good signs for Los Angeles so now they have potential to get LeBron and Paul George in free agency and there's also been talks of Cousins getting traded to the Los Angeles Lakers which also would make tons of freaking sense so I mean just think about all that and it's not like they don't have money they already have enough money to give one max contract out but then they will have enough money to give two max contracts out if they can get rid of Jordan Clarkson and Julius Randle's contracts like they've been wanting to there's been tons of trade rumors around them too and if you want me to make a video on them just comment that below but like yeah there's been a ton of trade rumors on them leaving and if they get them two out of the team then they'll be able to give two max contracts to two players and if you can pick up one um great player this year then that would lead to more players wanting to be attracted to the Los Angeles Lakers as now they would have a legit veteran superstar and then with tons of young talent I mean that's extremely attractive plus they're Los Angeles so people are going to want to go there even more just because of where it is located but before I do end off the video let's 
let's just get into what I said and let's recap of what I said. So obviously they have tons of young talent and some of that young talent being Lonzo Ball, a great, probably second best rookie point guard this year. Then they also have Kyle Kuzma, probably the best shooting rookie this year. And then they also have Brandon Ingram, probably the most improved rookie from last year. He's probably definitely the most improved rookie in my opinion. And then you would all, then you also have their potential free agency. There's been rumors of them being able to get Paul George, LeBron, DeMarcus Cousins. They also have good, good trade value with all those young players. They could trade a few, exchange them for superstars, I think. So, yeah, I mean, I think the possibilities are endless. And, do, by the way, like I said, this is a hypothetical video. I do this one for every single team. So, comment below, do you think this could actually happen? Do you think they could actually be the next super team? Comment all of that below. I really want to hear y'all's opinions on it. And if you did like the video at any point, hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button. This is a new year. Uh, my new goal is to hit 300 subscribers. I know that's a ton, but let's see if we can do it. I know I can with the help of y'all. So, anyway, without further ado, that's going to be it for this video. So, kids, I'm going to you. Either remember, never do vegetables. Always eat drugs. Stay safe. Race you, but goodbye. Blah, 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 blah.